Oh, hello everybody. I just read um, The Atlantic. It's a monthly magazine about the middle class. It's a nice article by Neil uh, Gabler. So anyways, he describes how how tough it is for the middle class. He uh, mentions a study, a survey that was done I think uh, by the Federal Reserve or so um, and they ask people like middle class families if they have $400 in cash for an emergency like if they have liquidity um, and 40, I think 44% mentioned that they don't have uh, $400 that's very sad and uh, it shows that the middle class is struggling so I think the thing has two sides um, what what is the reason for it that um, people don't have um, an emergency fund it's like the job situation the economy is not easy the environment is difficult lots of layoffs in many sectors retail is difficult the car industry a lot of factories move outside the US like to um, Asia or to South America there's a lot of pressure in many areas so the unemployment rate is is getting better and but the, the pay is not so great and the job security and the length of an employment I think it gets shorter and shorter anyway so that's one reason and the other reason is a self-inflicted wound I would say because um, we have all these wishes uh, the middle class and um, people consume so much much more than we did like 20 30 years ago just look at electronics or how large homes became that people have now like a guest room when they have rarely guests and they need more square foot and not just larger homes the people that want nicer kitchens more electronics computers cell phones even the kids have technology stuff little to play and gamble and like it's everywhere I think there's more consumption people people buy more clothes they, the, the frequency of vacation the, the spending on when you travel everything gets more expensive and it's it, there's a lot of waste in the system because when people make more money um, when they make a, when they get a raise usually people just spend it or they get a bonus it's not that they would think and uh, consider to save it and um, it's just like always competing with the Joneses the neighbors it's always the spending 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 and uh, so as I said so there are two sides of the story and um, one t one thing is one side is it's really difficult out there the economy the other thing is uh, the spending spray of people that um, they're not careful they just spend what they make for month every month they just throw it out and when they get an increase they keep on spending more and um, it's not very smart I think it's very intelligent to save some money up for for your retirement because things have changed and it's not so easy anymore just to rely on social security that's not enough that's I think almost everywhere in the world you have to do something but people another problem is people have not learned they don't know how to deal with that situation because it's up to them and they can choose whatever they want to do so if they want to spend they spend but later on it's a it can be um, a very difficult situation for a lot of people and uh, yeah you should really consider and think carefully what you do I recommend to save 20% maybe at least 10% of your income on a monthly basis put it in an index fund or an ETF they are great the, um, options you have with Fangord with Fidelity with with E-Trade with Scott Trade uh, they, they are very cheap cheap options also with uh, not just the discount brokers also with the, the large banks there are lots of ways you can do and uh, you can do something and um, you should have a budget you should control your spendings and you should be careful it makes life easier when you get older or in case of an emergency okay that's all for today bye